it's y'alls welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and if you haven't subscribed already why haven't you simply click the subscribe button and join the y'alls channel family we are on the road to 100k and i'm super excited today we are talking about the daniel fast is it overrated because you're doing it you're doing it i'm doing it we're all doing it like is it because it is everyone's thing during the beginning of the i don't know you'll hear my opinion near the end of this video but in the meantime do give me your opinion in the comment section give this video also a massive thumbs up if you are enjoying this daniel fast topic and of course do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already let's get straight into it Hey there, <laughs> it's y'all's channel. So why is everyone and their auntie doing the Daniel Fast? And why in the beginning of the year? Why the Daniel Fast in particular? Because there are so many different fasts as well. There's the Esther Fast, there's a the 40 day fast, 40 days and 40 nights. I personally think the overarching answer for everyone is that in the beginning of the year, after literally shoving down a lot of junk in our bodies, we need the reset. So a lot of people jump on the Daniel Fast train because it is a healthy reset. Also, it is 21 days that we do it for. Daniel abstained from all these rich foods um, and actually ate from food from the earth, like your seeds um, and your vegetables. That is in the book of Daniel chapter 10 and you can actually read the whole chapter i'm not going to tell you the verses literally in the beginning but read the whole chapter and you get more of an understanding of why he did it um, and how he actually went about it for the rest of us who are doing it and the rest of the world who jump on this train during the beginning of the year it's really just to reset and to create a new habit you know instead of just feeding the flesh we also want to feed the spirit especially after december we've partied we filled our body with a whole lot of things we've probably eaten more takeaways than usual anyway so it does make sense that a lot of churches came together i don't know if they had a whole meeting but a lot of churches decided oh, it's in the beginning of the year let's actually do a daniel fast together so it is a corporate fast a lot of churches call it a corporate fast because we're all doing it from the one sunday right up until near the end of january habits are actually ingrained after three weeks after a solid 21 days if you want to start a habit do it for 21 days consecutively and that thing which you are changing will most likely become a habit unless if you're one of those people with addictive personalities who start a habit after 21 days you still have not gotten it right you go back to your old ways but 21 days is so that you can actually make it a new habit to not feed the flesh to not gratify you know that craving instantly when you feel like you should and to not do the things out of just because i feel like it let me do it you know and now i want to jump into my personal reasons for doing the Daniel fast. Why I'm doing it in the beginning of the year, particularly to be honest with you, it's a really good time to be fasting with everyone. <laughs> Besides the fact that there's a shortage of steel cut oats right now, Woolies, I'm looking at you. Besides that shortage, it's really a good time to do a fast when other people are doing it, especially if you're new. It's probably my sixth or seventh fast that I'm doing um, beginning of the year, but it's always been a nice way to usher in the new year as well. And as mentioned, I also do it for similar reasons in terms of just ingraining that habit, but also, I set most of my goals near the end of the year and crossing over into the new year. So it does make sense to do that master reset of just starting a new, changing my time that I wake up. And then if I change it to five o'clock or six o'clock, I know we'll see if I'm doing that from January for a solid 21 days, that first hour is set out for God and the time that I also want to just slow down everything and just reset, not think about the rest of the world and think about what I need and what God needs from me. But then there's also an added layer to that. Daniel did it to heighten his spiritual senses. He also did it not to satisfy what the king wanted. In the beginning of Daniel speaks about the him abstaining, the same thing, abstaining from rich foods and what the king wanted them to, to eat at that time. For him, what was important was that he abstains and remains who he is because he was uh, one of the boys from Judah 
who were taken as the wise sons, the clever ones, you know, with his uh, friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and a couple of other uh, Israelites as well. And at the time, he knew Uguti in order for me to hear. He was a seer. To also see and be able to interpret dreams, I need to just numb everything else, numb the physical senses, numb that uh, craving that always needs to be fed. And in the beginning, you'll see of Daniel, the king is actually giving them rich foods. He's saying, feed them, feed them, feed them. I want my wise men to look nourished. And he said, well, actually, to the head of the administrators, he said, no, no, tell, tell the king what I want to eat right now, and he'll see the difference. Even though I'm eating something different, I will be more nourished in the way that I look. And he actually was. At the end of uh, chapter one, you are actually able to see Uguti, even with the food that he ate, different to what the king was saying, everyone else must be fed, the meat, um, the butters, you know, all these different rich foods that they were eating. He still looked very well nourished after abstaining from those foods. But after that, we see Uguti, the king has a dream. And who best to interpret it? All the other astrologists, the seers, the soothsayers are not able to interpret the king's dreams. But who is? The king is like, no, 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 I'm not even going to tell you the dream. Tell me the dream and then interpret it. And there is Daniel, who fasted for 10 days, who abstained from the foods that the rest of the world is eating, or the rest of his peers are eating. And he is able to not only interpret the dream, but actually tell the king what the dream is before he is told. The king says, what is my dream? Tell me about it. So that is part of the reason, at least a strong reason and strong sense of wanting for anyone who's doing it for spiritual reasons to do the Daniel fast and do any fast for that matter, to really heighten your spiritual senses by numbing down the physical senses because the flesh is weak and it is even it, it makes the spirit even weaker when we are feeding the flesh more than we are feeding the spirit that is why a lot of christians do the daniel fast that is a spiritual reason for it so there's that and then there's the other layer of a fast in general every fast has to have an intention do not fast without intention. Do not fast because the world is doing it, because everyone on Instagram has just decided to do it, because this is how we start the year. Gumnandi. What December we party, mo January we detox. It for me personally, it can never be a reason to just detox. And I've said this before: fasting without prayer is a diet. If you are fasting for a diet, fast for a diet. And if those those intentions are those intentions, that's also fine. But if your intent is for spiritual benefits too, and spiritual awakening, spiritual heightening of your spiritual senses, of your discernment, any of those things, then make sure that you are praying right through. Set aside a time to start your day with God first so that he lays the foundation for the day. He creates the flow for the day. And that's why I say like for me, it sets a tone for the rest of the year. If I say I'm waking up at six, from January, that's exactly what's probably going to happen for the rest of the year. That's my master reset. So for you, start your day with God. If you're doing this for spiritual reason, allow him to set the intention for the day. Allow him to set the theme for the day. You know, have something that you are fasting for and you're praying for so that your mind can actually be heavenward throughout the day. For me, today, for instance, I'm fizzy at school, so I was praying that his mind be nurtured in the best way possible. And I set out a day and an intention today to fast for that. And that's what I'm praying for. He's at school, he's learning, but I always pray that whoever is teaching him can really take care of his mind the way in which God wants it to be, you know, so that he finds himself in a space where his smartness and his intellect is really enhanced in such a way that's that's crazy because our teachers make us who we are. I do believe that they mold us, right? And that's why, and that's what I'm, I'm fasting for today in particular. I have 21 whole days to have different goals for each day. Some days I want to fast for something and God just changed the script. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. Pray for your cousin. Your cousin is struggling with this, this, and that. Pray for that. Pray for this restoration in that marriage. Pray for that, fast for that. Today, that's what we are fasting for. So there are different things. And then throughout the day, before you eat, pray. Yes, we used to, God bless my food before we eat. Amen. 
lengthen that prayer a little bit because right now you know you are hungry you know you're craving mcdonald's but you can only have your potatoes from your oven not the ones from mcdonald's you know over processed at least for me uh, i'm not judging anyone if you're eating mcdonald's chips during the fast it's still potatoes they might be overly processed but it's still potatoes um i'm not doing that either <laughs> You should see what's happening behind the camera. Oh, my team is also doing uh, the fast and they're pointing at each other right now. But anyway, um, as you are about to eat, thank the Lord throughout the day. There might be things that are dropped in your spirit. Take the time out to actually write things down. Oh, it was crazy. Yesterday was one of those days where I had to have a notebook and keep writing things down. Write things down because you are fasting for spiritual heightening. How are we saying, Lord, from your, your mouth to our ears? Kanti. He who hears must what? What? We must be doers of the word, right? How are we just doers if we don't record what is being said? How do we remember? We're not machines. We're not AIs. So write it down because God might be telling you what business you should be starting this year. God might be whispering in your ears how and where you should be going. You don't want to be Ujona who suddenly wants to go this direction. Can't do you praying for direction or you're praying for discernment. You're saying, Lord, help me discern who should be in my space. And God is telling you that, Ganti, that day when you said you're fasting for that thing, you didn't write anything and God was really direct with that answer. I mean, at times we think God takes his forever Yes, he's the God of the 11th hour, but sometimes he's instantaneous and he tells you right then and then, write it down. And then throughout the day, as I'm preparing my meals, I'm praying, I'm thanking God, the things I'm also consuming, I try my best. And this is, again, just another tip. No one is perfect. I'm not perfect. Try to not consume the things that take from you spiritually especially so in terms of music i try and listen definitely to more gospel music it doesn't mean that if my husband wants to turn on a romantic number there <laughs> that doesn't happen no you can do that but i'm certainly trying to consume as much uh spiritual food as possible than physical food you know uh we don't abstain by the way if you ask yourself oh do you abstain from sex during uh, the day of us no 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 it's still good in the bedroom <laughs> We might be empty here, but we must be, you know, filled everywhere else. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. During this time and throughout the day, I'm trying to consume content that is filling to my spirit and really trying to starve as much as possible the things that I know take away from me. Starving your distractions. And I'm going to probably repeat this throughout the year. I'm in the business of starving my distractions this year. I don't want anything to take me away from where God wants me to be. So do that. Unfollow people. Detox. Delete things and content on your phone, on your computer. Um, things that you watch. Subscriptions that you have that you know. But these are not feeding my spirit. They're actually taking away so that even after the Daniel fast, those things are gone. You've laid the perfect foundation that is clean, that is clear, that is perfect for God to start his work in us who are imperfect. We are the imperfect ones, but it doesn't mean that he who is perfect in his ways cannot create a perfect foundation for that to happen okay and then yeah at night we have our supper and then i spend time with the lord again for me personally it's really important the way that i start the day is the way that i end and i mentioned this in my last video the way that i end the year is the way that i want to start the year so that my mind is also clear i can sleep properly he is the one who doesn't slumber with no sleep let me not be restless, tossing and turning in the middle of the night. I'm already hungry. I'm already fasting. Um, I've eaten, but it wasn't meaty. So now you're tossing and turning. Just pray for sweet sleep so that we can sleep nicely and wake up nicely. Wake up calmer and that our spirit can be ready to be filled again. So that is what my day looks like. And at the end of the fast, I always go back to the things that I've written down. I look down and I'm like, Lord, is this where you want me to be? You've said this, repeat the things that you want. Confirm the things that you want me to do, Lord. There are so many things that, that I've written down. What is it that you want me to share with others? What is it that you want me to pray so that it can happen this year or whenever you want it to happen? What areas of development do I need to work on myself? Because I've written all these things down and it's a lot, but go back. All of us take notes at, at church when we're there, most of us at least. But do we go back to those journals and read them? Do we go back to those notes? No. 
this is a good time to create the habit of going back and doing that as well it is the daniel fast it's time to mute out all the other things and it's a good time because you're not doing it alone to also get a prayer partner get an accountability partner as well have people around you who are also fasting share recipes which we're going to get into uh in a minute and and just make it what god wants it to be it's a beautiful time to connect with christians who are like-minded and who are also in the business of ironing because iron sharpens iron right so be in the business of connecting with like-minded individuals who have the same intentions and who god is approving as well because you're hey you know make sure that you are discerning in everything that you are doing as well and then of course now on to the recipes so don't over complicate your life if this is your first time doing the daniel fast look at what you have in your kitchen okay so your breakfast in terms of like simple breakfast stuff i still have my oats like i say the woolworth steel cut whole grain oats is probably the most unrefined that i could get here in south africa but it's run out so i've got the simply truth one um it's called whole grain rolled oats though so it's also a good alternative at least to me i think it's a good alternative um to have you can make your shakes with that you can use it um to make pancakes mix it with banana and a nut milk like a almond milk but i don't use any of the milks none because i love dairy so i knew going into this fast i should not even have any other milk it's not gonna it's not gonna end well for me personally and then um you can also make smoothies in the mornings your you can also make your mushrooms with your onions and like make it savory yes there's no egg but that's okay like you can actually have a really good breakfast if you had potatoes the night before this time cut them even further instead of making them like a you know round or half potatoes make them wedges add them to that meal starch is really important during this time to stay filled and then as a snack you can add your fruits you can add your nuts as well and then during the day i usually have whatever i had as supper um, brown rice is also perfectly fine i believe there's also more unrefined rices out there there is um ooh, like bonchi so there's lots of options for supper similarly whatever i'd have for lunch i usually uh do the same i also have made snacks with my uh, smoothie i just freeze them either in an ice lolly or uh, a shot glass you can actually make that and just put the little uh popsicle stick there and there you go you've made your own little snack if you are into juicing you can also literally make those your popsicles the same juice that you're making you can make that your popsicle it's hot in johannesburg i believe it's hot in cape town as well in durban you could do that as well and yeah in terms of different supper options vegetables in your plate are always key but again starch 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 it literally is filling and as much protein as you can if you can get protein in your meals through beans do it chickpeas black beans um, i use all kinds of beans honestly um, so definitely get as much as possible into your system potatoes as mentioned sweet potatoes uh what's that squash as well you can actually make that as a side you can make it mashed you can also i don't know if you can get the spaghetti one here in south africa but there's the one that's more grainy which you can actually just use that as your pup and then on the side you can make a nice savory bistroniana there with your tomatoes your onions your peppers whatever it is and then your meats can always be like your mushrooms as well again so there are tons of options spinach cabbage also you can make a wrap in a cabbage so you keep everything your coleslaw um your hey i'll stick to the mushrooms clearly your quinoa your couscous you can actually stuff it in there and make a little wrap wrap it in a cabbage or even a lettuce um, leaf as well and there you have it you've got your wrap but there are, i'll be sharing more of these in like vlogs as well what i eat in a day throughout these three weeks i will share foods in probably almost every vlog because i'm going to be eating and making them and if you don't find them there they are definitely going to be on my tiktok talks as well as my ig so yeah to end this conversation what do you think is the daniel fast overrated for me personally i think the answer lies in the intention if you are fasting for spiritual reasons that's between you and god that is my answer personally it is not for us to judge just because your neighbor is doing it you don't know how long they pray you don't know uh, how high their praise is because you don't know how deep their pain runs yeah? so who are we to judge 
whatever it is that they're doing it is really not our place and the only reason i ask is because i open my my app and that's what i see <laughs> it seems overrated but truly truly it is between you and god and what you make of this journey sets the tone for the rest of the year so you create your foundation but the most important thing is that it be blessed and it be blessed by the most high that is the most important thing hope you didn't enjoy it if you've got any other questions about the daniel fast please i said earlier i won't hold your hand in my previous video but you know what let me actually hold your hand if it is your first time girl let's do it together girl i am here as long as we know what we are doing it to edify the kingdom of god and the body of christ gi corner gi right gi ready gi relevant now we must all right honey is that is it from me i love you guys so so much do give this video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy it comment down below and let me know how your daniel fast is going if you're doing it if you've not done it let me know why as well if you are doing it let me know your reasons too and your intentions and of course do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already we are on the road to 100k baby Woo! i'm so excited i love you guys so so much bye